This is the TV News for Thursday, February 24th, 2011. Brought to you by NewMaru.com, internet marketing education for professional people. Visit them at NewMaru.com. Hello, I'm Jeff Grimshaw, and let's begin with the big picture, which features an exclusive eye-opening interview. With every revolution, there is always one person at the vanguard. The American Revolution, Sam Adams. The English Revolution, Oliver Cromwell. Yeah, he was a rotter. The French Revolution, Robespierre, the male. Now, we told you about the revolution brewing on the Weather Channel's Facebook fan page. It's all about viewer discontent regarding the drastic reduction in prime time live forecasting in favor of reality programming. We want you to meet George Abadjus faithful viewer of the Weather Channel and leader of the Weather Channel's Facebook fan page revolt. Welcome, George. Uh, tell us, why are you leading such an insurgency against such a historically loved TV brand? Well, because when you need weather information and they're not there and you have five hours in a row of weatherproof and extreme driving tips, it doesn't really help you if there's a tornado coming straight for you. George, what do you really, if, if you could speak to the Weather Channel, and they watch this, so if you could speak to the Weather Channel, what would you ask them to do? I would tell them to get rid of all the pre-recorded shows that they have on there that take away from time for live broadcasting, because if there's a severe weather event coming and you need an update immediately, and you have to head out the door, and you know, oh, the Weather Channel is going to be there so I can get this update, and it's not, and you have some show like storm riders it's not going to help you what happens george if you don't get what you really want what happens well if they don't fix it i'm just not going to watch it anymore i mean that's really all i can do because why would i want to watch something that aggravates me it seems george as though you're you're trying to you know spearhead a a strike or a, a boycott against the weather channel if they if they don't give people what they want um how's that going to work well, just simply people don't tune in, so their viewership goes down with their new format, and maybe they'll finally get the picture that, hey, we've got to change this back to the old format, one that worked, that got us a lot of faithful viewers, and just get back on track. So you're looking for just weather when you want it. That's simple. Just weather when you want it. Weather when I want it, but with the human element, though. I mean, you can easily go online and interpretate millions of weather maps that they have millions of sites, but it's much better when you have the human element to it. You know what? I couldn't say it any better myself. Um, it's something that we rely on. I'm sorry you're being affected by this. And George, we thank you very much for joining us here at the TV News. Thank you, Jeff. Well, here's a little more about this remarkable young man. George is about to embark upon the study of, and a career in, <laughs> you guessed it, meteorology. So the fact that he's ready to start a revolution on the network on which he was literally weaned speaks volumes. We at the TV News.TV, which George Abadjus only the best. At the same time, we wish the Weather Channel the wisdom to understand how they appear to be alienating their most loyal followers. Get ready for the TV industry celebration of 2011. It's happening this November, but the big announcement is coming in March. Stay tuned. Well, this just in, things are not exactly rosy these days. Over at OWN, the Oprah Winfrey Network, besides the usual anemic ratings, there are now scattered reports that Oprah is engaged in a sort of street fight with the one-time queen of nice, Rosie O'Donnell. And it stems from a disagreement over the direction of Rosie's planned morning talk show on OWN this fall. Oprah reportedly wants something, well, nice, while Rosie wants something a little less than nice. Stay tuned, but phew, we know who's going to win this skirmish. Well, the TV news is this close to surpassing 300,000 views by top TV and new media pros. Have a look at our cloud scores. That measures our influence in social media within the TV industry. 
Uh, thank you, clout.com. Now, to become a big deal sponsor of the TV news, ping us with an email at advertise at the TV news.tv. We would just love to connect with you on Facebook, on Twitter, and on LinkedIn. And here's how we can connect. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. Tomorrow, Eric Mackerlin will be in with the Sports TV News, and he'll be talking about a once great TV sports franchise that desperately wants to get back to the future. Run for it, Marty! I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you very much for watching, and as always, go out and make it a good day. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.